That's how I came to choose a song to write about side effects of medication, is because I got annoyed with the commercials uh, where they have a new approach on Madison Avenue, and now instead of speaking quickly or having small print, now it's a mellifluous voice that tells you you could die, you could have a stroke, you could go. <laughs> and while they're saying that, these healthy people are striding back and forth. So the implication is that if you can't take our drug, it's not us. You know. <laughs> so this, this was the result. Day and night, commercials assail us, claim to cure all the ills that ail us. But we're a litigious bunch, alas, and these vendors have to cover their backs. And so they can't just sell you. By law, they're required to tell you that though this fact may diminish their wealth, these remedies could be hazardous to your health. Hence the lengthy list of possible side effects, each one more horrifying than the next. Oh, you may want to be cautious cause this pill could make you nauseous and do not get in a tizzy if it leaves you feeling dizzy. Here's a pill could cause amnesia or a fainting fit could seizure, but don't worry if you fall, you won't remember it at all. <laughs> Your restless legs could stop their rambling, you could start compulsive gambling or develop a proclivity for increased sexual activity. And if your vision's blurring, speech is slurring, rash occurring, Call your doctor who is waiting for your call. Now here's a pill makes you weigh less, but wear dark clothes to hide the mess and go where nobody can see, cause it gives you diarrhea. Swelling up of lips or tongue or inflammation of the lung, or if your skin starts turning yellow or your muscles feel like jello. A symptom men are wise to heed, erections that do not recede. If it has been more than four hours and there's no decline in powers, you could have shortness of breath a heart attack or sudden death. Just call your doctor, who might just return your call. <laughs> who can you trust? Who's got the facts? I found a late night source that helps me to relax. I had a little midnight tryst with my 24-hour pharmacist. Late at night, he's all alone, does not mind talking on the phone. And he doesn't have a passion for the latest drug of fashion. How reassuring he can be. And when he talks to me generically about alprazolam, diazepam, fluoxetine, fluvoxamine, seldenafil, verapimil, tamoxifen, diltiazin, cimetidine, diclopidine, ondansetron, bupropion. It's better than counting sheep. <laughs> and pretty soon, I'm fast asleep. But in spite of all this, since Moses was given those tablets on the mount, we've taken more pills than we can count. Life's become so complicated, I'm so over-medicated. Little boxes with division, still I make the wrong decisions. Trying to combine the best herbs from the East, drugs from the West. But just to schedule all this stuff, there simply isn't time enough. I take a pill upon arising just before my exercising. Yellow tablets twice a day with food to help improve my attitude. Brown pills while not digesting, empty stomach, enzymes resting. This pill take only at night, this once a week, but stay upright. This pill I take before I dine, check out the side effects online. I cannot eat grapefruit at all with pills for high cholesterol. This pill won't mix with avocado, I'm a capsule desperado. Simply muddling along, afraid of doing something wrong. When they prescribe antibiotic, then I really get neurotic. Take no milk with this, no booze with that, no sun, jump in Jehoshaphat. No vitamins before or after, no defense except for laughter. And that is why I'm singing you this song. 